Gary Brian here from quantlabs.net today 2.13 p.m. December 7th Eastern Standard Time uh, big news here we are gunning now for our highest peak of the year with this portfolio you can see here uh, at the peak of the before the big crash in May we were at 79.56 we are now pretty well in the last few days 7700 Dollars. So you can see here we had pullbacks. We quickly recover and bust through those last points. Um, and I'm going to show you why we are able to accomplish this. Um, obviously, I'm not here to brag, but I will tell you this is the reason why what I charge is what I charge. Okay. So last night there was um, some big moves on Shiba Inu regains twenty billion dollar market cap level. And also, Matic or Polygon spikes 25%. It's just that's just overnight in one day. Okay, why we're able to do what we do, and um, specifically, let's take a look at these coins here. So, we did pick up some trades, uh, as you can tell. Let's look at Shiba Inu first. So that's been added to Kraken. This is again Moto Wave uh, for Kraken. Um, you can see right here we we took advantage of it. 3300 all the way up to 3881 it's cooled off now but um, yeah I think we took some positions there I'll go through what we also picked up through the night so that's Shiba so it's gone up 3300 to 3800 you do the math that's probably 10 plus percent um, next up we have is Matic or Polygon as well I'll go over what we're looking at right now in a minute so we've got Matic as well and uh, let's take a look at that. So Matic has done absolutely amazing. 6 a.m. last or yesterday, and uh, you can see that right there. December 6, price at dollar 72, and it's already gone up to 252 at its peak. And the volume picked up there. We saw this rally, and look at what the volume. It just picks it up way too late in the game. These are your retail traders. Uh, learning about that but usually what's driving this up is going to be algos picking this stuff up using the exact same probably methodology that i'm using okay so let's go through what we picked up last night and um it wasn't gangbusters day uh but uh it it, it was pretty good um let me just go through the ethereum okay so <clears throat> Actually, let me show you where we're at on the on the portfolio. This is really important. A lot of people don't quite understand <clears throat> why this is happening. This is over two months. So this is the peak here, October 11th or 10th of, I'm using this, $1,900 in coins. We're now at uh, $5,500 in coins. So that in two months, we've doubled, no, is it doubled? 4,000, yeah, I'd say two and a half, 250% returns what I'm quoting at. And even if you look at the total cash value uh, or account value, 4,084, uh, 4, we're now uh, 7,700. So not quite doubling, but the act of trading is definitely, definitely, definitely working. The currency holdings, uh, it helps to uh, ensure and, and soften that blow on these big dips that we had. So. I'm going to do another video uh, lesson learned here. Very another important from a portfolio management standpoint. And uh, I only say this uh, to learn from. So you can see here we had this massive, pretty well spike all the way from 2019. I think it was March. Yeah, March. Up until two years later, uh, just over two years later in May. Okay. So that's when we had that drop. So over here, we're starting to really uh, build up on that same portfolio. I've gone over why this happened, but using the motorway for execution orders, this is what we're able to perform. And if you're on a custom built solution, I don't think you're gonna get the same performances you'll get on a Stellar MotoWave platform. I've also gotta say, I've looked at the reviews of MotoWave. A lot of people are saying MotoWave is the number one platform out there, number one over Ninja Trader, over Trade Station, number one. I might do some reviews on that. Um, if you go to Futures.io, there's some people that are fairly honest about the bugs. Yes, there are lots of bugs in MotoWave, but I figured out ways to uh, work arounds, but still making this probably the 
I don't have to say probably is the number one platform out there and it's really benefited my uh, portfolio here. So continuing along, we've got Matic here up a lot. So right now, probably some of you are waiting on this. So let's look at OMG. So we're looking at a five minute chart. This is in play pretty well right now. You can see the volume has been building. Um, that big, pretty fairly big move, $7 to 738 starting to consolidate, but the volume has uh, tapered off. Here, this is this is with this kind of volume. Uh, it does push up the volume, uh, and then and then the volume uh, dries up, and then yet they'll miss out on these next probably round of moves up. Um, Litecoin, another one that has been doing an interesting move, 140 to 164. Folks, this is why I do crypto. That's a huge move for a big coin like that. Name me a stock in the last, just this week that's moved this kind of move from 142 to 164 and then it's flat line will it move up according to these lines we're seeing it we're waiting for those signals and that's what we're looking at again sheep uh, another one that may start to move 3300 to 3800 started to drift eh no big risk at my end and look at this once again this is a really good one polka dot this has been a really good one Again, 25 bucks to 30, $31, that's a big move. Starting to drift again, but look at this. This little line right here is pointing everything up. So we've got a recent sell. Hopefully that momentum will start to build up and then we'll be able to get uh, another entry for another big, big move. And let the strategy do its work, okay? Even I get caught up in prematurely closing off trades. <clears throat> but I only do that when I see the market could drop like it did in Friday. Uh, night when I dropped that 20% thank God I did get out of those trades manually <clears throat> and save myself quite a bit of not a, uh, I don't I wasn't overexposed but still I, I would have saved on those on those positions so here we are ethereum big granddaddy ethereum uh, price here at 3943 all the way up to forty four hundred dollars I mean that's over a 10% move since yesterday morning big big moves um, Bitcoin you're not seeing in here. I'm not feeling it on on uh, on Bitcoin. This one I'm not sure if this will take off. It could. I should, but I'm not seeing it in my um, in my stats. But just in case, it's like I keep using the comparison. Just stick the, the fishing rod into the moving water, and if you catch something, you catch something. You don't. You have to take a bit of risk. Okay. Without those risks, you're not going to make money. Okay, you know, you're not going to participate. Why bother trading? So you can see here, that's what I've been doing. Along here, we, we take little losses, but uh, we can get aggressive on those upswings like I'm showing you, and boom, we leg up and move up. And that's what it's about. Okay, let's go over the positions from last night that I've taken. I've probably gone over quite a few. Okay, so one I have not talked about is Zcash. When it comes to the private coins, the anonymous coins, um, I have to tell you, Zcash is way outperforming Monero. Fairly volatile, as you can see here. That's a 15-minute chart. These kind of this kind of volatility shows there's no trend. Um, if you're on a one-hour, you could probably, well, it's flat there. But on a 15-minute chart, you can see the odd upswing, like here, 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 and here. Um, so you, you can make some, you're not going to be making, I only took one, looks like one position on Zcash, but that, you know, it's performing, my, my, my system will uh, try to, to, to give it, take advantage of it. Another one that I'm not talking about is, like, if you want a coin that is long term, still performing really well, is Solano. Look at this, 178 to 204. Like, I'm just astounded that um, uh, that coin has still got that amount of pep in it. Um, and when you look at the performance long term of Ethereum, Bitcoin, or Solano, Solano easily buries uh, both those coins. But yet, the stupid um, uh, traditional uh, legacy banks and whatever only focus on Ethereum and Bitcoin. So if you're stuck on those, on those. Uh, type of uh, legacy firms to manage your money, you're getting underperformance for sure, for sure, for sure. 
So again, um, it is in decline here uh, with Solano, but right now I'm just saying, you know, there was opportunity there last night to get into Solano, another one that was fairly active, and I'm not a long-term fan of it, is Algo. This can do well when it does well, but if you're buying Holden, uh, I think, again, there's better. Solano is, like I said, a really good one. I might come back to that uh, for Solano. Um, Decentraland or Algo. See, you can see here, nice big upswing, goes flat, and then starts to go almost in a full parabolic mode. You can see that here in the last upswing. This is why I don't like this coin because when you look at the daily chart, um, it's just too volatile, it's really flat, but yet, as I said, if you compare that to Solano on a daily chart, and that's since August, because we know that the classic, we t um, classic return or pivot point was in July for every, all these moves. So here you can see Solano's kind of struggling as well, um, but uh, I still think it's one of the better coins to be in, I mean, the real the real coin that I can't participate in are the gaming coins. When you look at uh, AXS, this is a really good coin. It hasn't been performing lately, um, but uh, this one, outside of the most recent, you can see it's not doing too good. Man, it's probably the same as well. But when you buy and hold coins, you're not gonna get a lot of performance out of it. Uh, to get out of the to know when to get out of a trade when before it goes into a long-term decline is really hard to do. Uh, so let me show you some other examples. People are probably going, well, what about Bitcoin and Ethereum? Well, I can show you those. So here, Ethereum, um, it's 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 ba being able to build up its base uh, to hold that so it's not declining. That's why I think people are kind of excited with Bitcoin. For me, it doesn't really excite me a whole lot on the short term. But yeah, it's done well holding holding its own. Bitcoin's the other one here just lately. I think we talked I talked about this. You can see those big declines there and it's still trying to recover. So Bitcoin's not your best long-term coin uh, for the last uh, couple of months. Uh, but doing what I'm doing, you know, look, I could show you OMG. Uh, that one's done fairly well. Nobody talks about it. Uh, that doesn't look too good actually, but it's done okay in the last few days. Um, another coin that I, I've been liking is, uh, uh, what's it called? OMG, oh, Mana, one that I can trade, but again, it's recently been struggling, I think, as you can see here, but just, you know, really big moves there up until, again, a month ago, but it's these, it's these dips that you wanna avoid and yet here we are able to maintain that major upswing over the long run that not many people are able to accomplish, but it's all because of how I'm doing this as I'm showing you. All right, so again, going through the other list here, I know I'm going on and on, but uh, I think we covered a lot of it. Uh, let me see, uh, Matic, how that's been performing. Well, there you go. Matic's been doing pretty good. There's a lot of hype on Matic lately. So if I look at that on a daily time frame, uh, let's take a look here. So on a daily, you can definitely see this is the coin you wanted to, to hold uh, as it's right here um, to prevent those down, those, those down swings uh, with all the other coins I've shown. So knowing that, you know, and there's other people in, in Polkadot as well. I think was there some, yeah, there's some, po I haven't talked about the polka dot lately, but polka dot, um, again, same, same, same ill as well. Um, not too bad. You can see the big swing here, 25 to $31. But if I switch that over to a daily, it's the same problem with the other coins, Ethereum, Bitcoin, this one's pretty deep. Um, the only one major coin that's held its own is Ethereum, but you've also at the same time not got any performance out of it. Anyways, let's go over what I can do. Right now, uh, we've got the private chat server, quantlabs.info. We are also got the quantlabs, um, quantlabs uh, contact for uh, the daily newsletter. <clears throat> and more importantly, which I think will keep me busy uh, as I'm building this out for early next year, I'm hoping to keep me busy, 
is a couple of things I'm doing off market. So if you want to know what I'm doing, you want to get on my email list. But namely, uh, if you go to my shop here, uh, what I'm starting to do is um, custom coding because I've gotten pretty quick at being able to merge uh, different strategies for people. Sorry, different studies. The indicators over 200, maybe th over 300 <clears throat> studies. So. If you have studies that you're interested in, or indicators they call them, merge them together and then turn it into a strategy, and then be able to um, be able to merge them and then build trading rules around that with the individual parameters for each study, and then be able to get an actual strategy that runs. And again, that strategy is um, uh, universal meaning it can run on any time frame on any asset class I've gone over all the different available connections with MotorWave and as I said also MotorWave is probably the number one platform out there um, a lot of people seem to be liking it I do think their community is growing um, yes there are bugs but name me a, a platform that doesn't have bugs but uh, from what I'm seeing uh, supports pretty good if, if you're willing to invest in the higher end edition which I have thanks to them and uh, also I, I don't know what more I can tell you because it does does make a huge difference I'm not saying that just because but because right here you can see that performance over the last uh, close to two months now but um, I'm gonna do another video uh, on how to look at when will Bitcoin drop when's the next cycle coming when will the next uh, the next uh, basically the next um, peak next le peak of the next leg in Bitcoin and of course that affects everything in uh, crypto as, as a whole but there is a, a, a study in there that, that very few people get access to unless they spend the money called the hearse cycle I've gone over this so I can use that to determine when the next down cycle hit potentially or at least the the the, the next um, coming off the peak of Bitcoin right now if well uh, just as an example while I'm here talking about it if you look at Bitcoin uh, daily I've talked about these cycles they're not a hundred percent okay any person that tells you that these cycles work a hundred percent is either too stupid or too like outright lying to you um, because they don't work okay I mean I this this right here the her cycles is what a lot of people use to determine these so-called historical cycles so here we have the ability to look at it so here you can see quite easily when will the next bottom here and we're just approaching that now on Bitcoin December 2nd so we've hit that the last few days and now we're starting to see that in the price start to take off here the last cycle was not quite accurate but it was off by October 31st but here's the peak here so it's off by 12 days so as I said it's not a hundred percent but what we can predict is that the next peak on that next lot leg up will be around January 5th just coming off of uh, January early, early next year that will be the peak and then it should start to see a decline and then the next uh, upswing and again this is not 100% but it's a pretty good indicator um, the next upswing will be um, when I'm looking at February 8th or 9th there okay so give or take a week um, I can say that using that methodology so what am I going to do here I'll probably take profit uh, early next year and um, take profit here and then deploy it elsewhere outside of crypto <clears throat> and start looking at other ventures um, what I'm looking at and experimenting with is Forex not Forex as you know active trading but Forex in terms of investment if, if, if you watch my videos yet again that's why I put them up I don't put them up for, for just to hear myself talk is um, the, the latest round of videos for Forex here that have really could make a difference are these two which Forex brokers for trading with CFD um, and Forex with CFD is the only investing not active trading investing so if you look at just as an example just take a look at the trade of US dollar in Turkish lira and you'll see crypto moves like basically free money looking at that trade and <clears throat> looking for those kind of trades with what I take out 
uh, in crypto and looking for those kind of moves because there's always something there that you can invest and get some decent performance out of. We'll leave it at that and uh, thanks for watching. So again, uh, consulting's coming. Um, you got to get on my list to know about it, <clears throat> um, my email list. And um, there's, a, there's a pretty good promotion there. Uh, I may or may not put a public post on it as well as mentoring as well. Again, that's not part of my score, but it's on my email. We'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.